What up, everybody? It's your boy, this is my sneaker head in the house, coming with a brand new unboxing. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification bell on the front of my YouTube channel so you know when all my videos drop. <sighs> we have some major heat here, people. I'm surprised I got these. I was able to get through and cop these kicks. And a matter of fact, we have another heat unboxing coming in a few days. Some super, super heat. But anyway, let me stop talking. I'm going to get right into this. Thank you, Sneaker Gods, for this pickup. Got this from the friendly folks at Rubik. They had a restock of these kicks a few days ago. And I was able to get them, but there's only one catch. I thought I got my size, but they're half size too small. So, if anybody has this sneaker in a size 11 that wants to do a swap, straight up, you know, the only thing we'd be paying for is shipping, let me know in the description below because I'm looking for a size 11. So, I'll keep these on ice until, you know, somebody hits me up. So, wow, that's hilarious. You big jacked up my order. Oh, I, I was about to lose it, son. All right, all right, all right. I was this close to losing it, folks. I'm going to just do this because this ain't my name. But check out the name on there. Anthony somebody from Philly, from York, Pennsylvania, rather is the receipt that I got from Ubik and peep the shoe model that it said that was in this box NMD R1 Solar Red in an 11 and a half so honestly when I looked at this and I saw I said please do not tell me Ubik that you sent me the wrong kicks fortunately though the tag saved me whoo man that was close. Let's see. Oh! Yes, sir! <laughs> they are. These are. Say it with me, everybody. Fire. Flame. Fuegos. Times 10 right here, baby. Woo! Ah. We have the Adidas. EQT. I think these are the 9317s. Oh. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. oh. Man, I am height. Look at these bad boys right here. What can you say? Prime net upper. These are bananas right here. Whoo. Oh my gosh, you don't know how hyped I am to have these in my collection. Again, these are 10 and a half, which again, I'm sure I could fit because it's prime knit. Even though this prime knit is a little bit firmer than the Ultra Boost. And I've heard people saying that these are actually more comfortable than the Ultra Boost. If you have a pair of these, let me know down below. Because if you guys don't recall, if you guys recall, I did a Ultra Boost video on the Ultra Boost that I had in my collection and the other Boost sneakers. And the most comfortable were the Y3 Retro Boosts that I had. I'll leave that video up there. But to get these from Ubik on a restock, these sold out everywhere. And there were a lot of places you could have copped these from. But, ah, oh, that inner, man. It just pops. And this, oh, wow. I'm just glad that this is the actual shoe. Because if these ended up being the R1s, I would have been pissed. But anyway, folks, I'm not going to keep blabbing. These joints are sick. Look at all the boost. Boost, straight up boost from start to finish, from heel to toe. But, oh, clean. Clean. Oh, boy, is happy right now. Look at these. Look, look at it. Look at that. Look, look. Yeah, yeah. Soak it up. Go ahead. <laughs> but anyway, folks, I could go on and on. I am beyond hype. But again, still no Jordan cops for 2017. 
I really don't know what cops I will actually get. I, I am feeling the uh, Air St All Star ones. The Cherry 13s are super dope, but I'm kind of on the fence about them. But still, no Jordan cops. And I only have one Nike cop this year, which is the foam. So I don't know when my next Jordan pickup will be, but Adidas is winning for me right now. So, yeah, man. Appreciate all the support, guys. And with that being said, it's your boy, the smart sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.